Hi guys, I'm here again and today we're going to be talking about something that somebody sent me a DM and was asking me a very important question. You know, I, I mean, I, I said I just had to shoot this video right away. So he said, I am a new business, right? The question is, I'm a new business. I haven't started exporting. How do I penetrate the US market? Very valid question. Because a lot of you are just new into export and you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start from. Now, for those of you that don't know me, you are just watching me for the first time. I teach African businesses how to get their products selling abroad so they can earn in dollars. That's what I do. And we've been successful. We've helped so many people. We have people who start with us today. In four months, they are doing about $60,000 a month in export. That is what we do. So I'm going to be treating this topic because it's very important. Again, the DM I received, the person was like, I am new in export. I'm new in this business. How do I penetrate the U.S. market? So I'm just going to talk about three ways. You see, when people talk about export, look, export requires strategy. Why a lot of you fail, right? And I'm going to tell you this. Why a lot of you fail when it comes to export is because you just rush into it. You don't do the planning that is necessary. You don't do the studies. You don't do things that will help you determine how export works. You see here uh, at uh, African Import Export Solution, um, our parent uh, partner, a uh, parent company. Some of you will know me as Export and Sell, but again, we have a parent company that is called African Import Export Solution. We've developed what I call the PSS system, PSS. Now, let me tell you what that PSS is. So, uh, three ways to penetrate. So, the topic is three ways to penetrate the US market. All right. So, like I said, we've developed what I call the PSS, the P, I call it PSS. So some of my team members like to call it the PSS, and it's made up of three key steps. If you are trying to penetrate the export market, the first one is prepare. The second is send. I, I try to use simple words. And the last is sell. This is where most people start from. Everybody that I have talked to, every small business that I talk to who want to go into export, this is where they start from. Nobody takes time on this. And this is where the profit, the hard work, this is where everything is. A lot of you already have products that you are selling locally. And, oh, you know, oh, you, tomorrow you just decide I want to go into export. And the next thing you do is you are shipping that same product that you sell locally. And you are hoping that the Oibo man, the white man, the people, you know, even the Africans there, that their taste buds have changed because they are used to eating so much burger, will now eat that same thing that we eat locally. This is for food. And it's the same thing for cosmetics. We have a company we are dealing with now in terms of cosmetics. Getting them to repackage their product to meet the standard of the U.S. has been a challenge. Yet, they want to sell to people over there. This is the most important step. Before you go into export, you must go through the preparation stage. And this is where most people fail it. They just start sending us and, and they want to sell. The problem is, if you jump this stage, what is going to happen? You are only going to be able to do what? To send. The sell becomes difficult. That's what a lot of you are facing. So, what is involved in these processes? Let, let, me, let me break it down. Now, the prepare stage, the prepare is made up of three key elements. Three key stages. The first one is what I call profitability analysis. Profitability analysis. A lot of people don't do this. They don't. Before you start exporting, do you know what is your base minimum price? How many of you know that? If I call you today and say, hey, I need you to send this product to me in the USA, and I ask what is your base minimum price? How many of you know it? How many of you know the price that you are ready to sell your product on Amazon? 
that you are ready to sell to African stores, that you are ready to sell to direct to consumers. When you have factored in the shipping cost, the production cost, the packaging cost, and your profit, what is your base minimum price? A lot of people don't know. And they wonder, well, after they send it, they are not able to sell. So, the first stage is the profitability analysis. What does the profitability analysis do? Now, I, I'm not going to be able to go deep into all of this here. But again, the profitability analysis helps you to determine your base minimum price. And the base minimum price is that price that you cannot go below. If you go below that price, then you are running a charity business. In running the profitability analysis, you must be able to know the air and ocean shipping cost. What is my profit if I use air or ocean? So let me put it there. You have your, your air slash ocean shipping. You must be able to plug that in when running your profitability analysis. You must have your packaging dimensions. You must be able to tweak your packaging dimensions to fit into your profitability analysis model. You must have your weight as well. You must factor in your weight, the weight of your product. You must be able to do a wholesale, whole, H-O-L, sale analysis. This tells us how many quantity you can sell in wholesale and at what price so that you are able to attract the retail stores, the African stores and things like that. You must be able to do that. Then you have the Amazon analysis. All this because again, I am, I am a fan of selling via multiple channels. The reason a lot of people don't grow via export, the reason you cannot be sleeping and you are hearing your bank account roll is because most of you are selling via one channel. If you want to make it via export, you must be able to understand what I call a multi-channel sales system. And that works when you have run your profitability analysis to know your base minimum price in all of these scenarios. And then you must also be able to do your direct to consumer analysis. All these things are easy and we show you how to do it. I can't go deep into all of them here, but I will show you. Look, I have an event coming up March 6th and 7th. Don't miss that event for anything. Oriental Hotel Lagos. For two days, we're going to break all these things down. By the time you finish this, you will take your business from zero to what, what we have done with some people. You'll be amazed. I say it all the time, we have somebody that we took from zero to $60,000 a month in under four months. Okay, now when you have done your profitability analysis in the prepare section, now the second one is what I call redesign slash branding. You must redesign your product to meet the requirements over there. When you look at a label, take food for example, when you look at a food product, is it the same label that you see in the US that you see here? No. Your product must be ready to meet that standard. And what are the things that you need to look into? You need to look into, say, um, say you are selling on Amazon, does it have the Amazon requirements? Does it have the FDA requirements? When you are branding and redesigning your product, are the graphics, and the graphics aligned that when people see your product on the shelf, they go like, that's the product I believe, that's the product that I trust. Is your photography, photo, your photography, is it perfect for listing on a place like Amazon? I've had a lot of people who come to me and they say, oh, this is the type of, uh, this is the product I want to sell on Amazon. And then when I look at the photography that they've designed, it won't even get a click. And that's why you see some of them, 30 days, they've only sold one pack. The person who even bought that pack is doing them a favor. So when we talk about penetrating the market, the first stage is the preparation stage. Now, the last element in this stage is the repackaging. Repackaging. 
Again, your product must be properly packed for the market that is going to. And what are the things that you look at in repackaging? You look at the shelf life, right? You look at the size. Now, what is shelf life? We all, all know what shelf life is, right? You have to package your product for the expected shelf life. If I'm selling this product in, say, an African store, what am I expecting as the shelf life? What shelf life is that store want, going to be looking at? If I'm selling on Amazon, do I expect that when I ship it to Amazon, everything is going to sell in three months? If it's going to sell in three months, then what shelf life should I be looking for? Remember, even if it's going to sell in three months, when people buy it, they may want to keep it in their pantry for six months or nine months. So what is the shelf life? And the packaging affects all of this. And the last one is the shipping. storage yes packaging has a lot to do with shipping take for example do I sell palm oil or do I sell ginger right you have access to both of them now when you we are, you are doing your analysis on repackaging one of the things you are going to see is simple if I'm selling palm oil then I'm gonna have big gallons you know where it's gonna be stored they are liquid you know so I have to you know take care so that they are packaged and shipped in a fragile system you know if they fall what happens all those things play a role and that is why I tell you when you want to penetrate the market the first stage is the preparation stage a lot of times the product that you have that you are selling locally is not going to fit what is available in, in the market that you are going to so you have to prepare right you can see some of the things that we go through under the preparation stage it's complex because again, when we dive into profitability, I do a course on profitability analysis. It's a whole day course. It's not something that you can just come and you, know, you just know how to do it. But the key thing is that when you go through that course, when you go through that training, when you go through that training, you get to see a lot. You get to learn a lot. You get to, to be able to determine the right product to export. And even if you have an existing product that you sell, you will get to determine the things that you need to tweak to increase your profitability. We've had customers who have products that they were selling for, um, I think we had a customer once, you know, she was selling, trying to sell it for $13.99. And we looked at it, did a few things, we were able to lower the price to $11.99. The sales just took off. Her base minimum price was $7.99. So if your base minimum price is $7.99 and your sales is taking off at $11.99, what does that mean? You are making $4 for each product you sell. That is not even close. That is way about two to three times higher than what they were making locally. So again, the preparation stage, the three ways to penetrate the US market, the preparation stage, this is the first stage. Now the second stage, the send and the sell, I'm not going to talk too much about this here because this is where everybody messes up. They don't take care of these things. And that's why I decided to go a little bit deeper in the preparation stage. You have to run your profitability analysis, your redesigns or rebranding, and then your repackaging. Now, I, my vision, like I say, is simple. Africa has the potentials. It's just left for we African businesses to do the right thing. If we do the right thing, get export right, you'll be amazed at how we can increase the wealth of Africa. I'll see you shortly. Thank <laughs> you.